Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project, and welcome to your daily taroscope forecast for Tuesday, the 20th of February. So our cards today are the Six of Air, the Page of Air, and King of Air. So there's a lot of thinking going on today, a lot of up here stuff. Um, not quite down in reality, but just a lot of like mental and emotional considerations going on, mainly mental. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards. So first of all, the six of air. It says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So as I pulled the cards, I got the feeling of perhaps things have been a little bit... Um, frictional, if that's the word. I feel friction. Like you're mulling things over in your mind from something that has happened or maybe thinking about what could happen. A lot of what ifs, I feel like. Imagining scenarios, like getting yourself ready for if someone attacks your opinion, like knowing what to say, that kind of stuff, right? And this is saying that it's okay. Things are going to get better. Um, you know what? I'm being called to do all these cards together, so I don't know how I'm going to hold them all up, but Let's do this. Okay, so basically it's saying overall things are going to get better, but let's look at the situation here. So, make this easier. Let's look at the page of air first. It says challenging information, delays to plans, truth delivered without tact. And then we have the king of air that's saying speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So what I feel is happening here with these cards is perhaps, like I said, there's been some friction. I feel like today possibly someone might rub you the wrong way. Um, as it says here, truth delivered without tact. There's like a crazy political climate going on at the minute. Everyone's feeling it. Everyone's feeling pretty emotional and they all have their opinions right now about stuff that's going on, which like legit, like we have reasons to have those opinions. There's no reason to not have them. Um, and I feel like this is a day where it's possible where it could get heated. Like someone might actually say something to you and it might even be that big. It could be like on Facebook or something where you share an opinion of like, let's say, gun stuff, right? Everyone has an opinion on that. And I feel like there could be like a little Facebook war. This is an example. Like someone might just say one comment and you're like, ah, oh, and it really rubs you up the wrong way. So what this is saying is I feel like someone is going to say something to you and you're going to be mulling it over in your mind. Like it's going to be eating at you and it could be the smallest little thing, but it's getting at you because it's your opinion at the end of the day, right? And that's where the king of air is coming out here. It's saying speak your mind with confidence, um, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. What I think this card is saying is, uh, yeah, it's okay to have your opinion and it is saying speak your mind with confidence here, but I feel what's coming out of this card is speak it eloquently, right? Because this is the king of air. He is the leader. He is like the highest rank, right? He's the king. They don't have ranks. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and you can even see here, like he's doing like the brave heart thing, right? Where these are like all the people lined up on the horses, getting ready to go in the battle and he's walking back and forth, giving the speech, getting them amped up, right? Ready, like getting them in the, the right mind frame. So even though he is probably crapping his pants because he's going in the battle too, he's still giving the pep talk and filling these people full of belief, right? So it's saying like, put your stuff to the back and still be that brilliant diplomatic, as it says, professional, because you might be in a professional environment, person who can still... Like it says, speak eloquently without getting into conflict. Yes, you can speak your mind, you can give your opinion back, but you can do it in a very thought-provoking and understanding way. I feel like that's a message that's coming out here. Even when it says balance mental and emotional considerations, it's saying that it's okay for other people to have a different opinion from you too. So don't get so caught up in it. Don't get so caught up in the whole like battle of it all. If you feel like someone's going against your opinion, everyone has their right to it. Um, so yeah, what this is saying is like, don't be afraid to speak your mind back, but do do it in the way that you would expect good leadership to do it. So Think in your mind who is a good leader. And I'm talking about a good leader who is someone who knows how to speak eloquently and get their message across in an inspirational and non-divisive way. Sorry if that upsets anyone. <laughs> Maybe this video is what's coming across as the opinion that pisses you off. But what I mean is leadership, um, it's a skill that not everybody has. And leadership, a leader is someone who does inspire you. It's someone who can be diplomatic, who can rise above the rest of what everyone is thinking and saying. That's the whole idea of a leader. Someone you can look up to, to inspire. Um, aspire to be, right? So it's saying be that person who rises above today, who can still be brilliant, who can be dipl diplomatic, who can be impartial, allow others to 
to have their opinions and don't feel so attacked whenever maybe someone doesn't agree with you just agree to disagree or do what you're supposed to do in a debate and challenge each other but still love each other at the end of the day which is why I feel a six of air is here saying things are looking up like the end of a difficult situation I feel like there's gonna be a big lesson learned from today with this energy of honoring your own opinions while honoring and respecting other people's opinions too and honoring yourself in that you don't need to back down from yours but you don't need to defend it either like it's your opinion like who cares what anyone thinks and so that's the message um I was mulling over right before I did these cards the fact that I know that like not a lot of people are probably into what I'm into like this stuff right and someday someone will say something to me in person and you know the only thing I'll do is laugh because I don't care like why does that, why should that affect me? And that's what this is saying. Things are looking up. Whenever you can take that approach to just letting stuff wash off you, life will be a lot happier. Okay, angel message for the day. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. I feel like there's a big teaching lesson coming lesson today. And again, it's asking you to step back from yourself, right? So this is you viewing your life, your world from the outside. And that's what it's telling you to do. Be diplomatic and be di um, impartial. Step back and see yourself from the outside and approach the situation that way rather than approaching it from someone who's in the situation heated and getting like, ah, and then your affirmation for the day, my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I manifest. So keep aligned with positivity and the universe and the law of attraction by not getting lost in the anger and the negative emotions of all this, but like going along with the ride and keeping the peace and the love and, you know, having a big lesson yourself in being diplomatic and impartial and not having to be right and not having to be wrong either. Okay, so your energy recreates your reality. If you go down the path of being angry and defensive, you're going to create more of that in your life. All right, everybody, that was deep, that was intense, but there was a lot of information that had to come out. I hope you enjoyed today's Taroscope. Please like, share, tag your friend, or subscribe, and I look forward to bringing your video tomorrow. Bye.